Hi, my name's Paul and I'm an Applications Engineer at National Instruments in the UK and today I'd like to take you through a project I've been working on which utilises the NI MIDAC device. So my project is called MyPort and the reason for this is it's a guided tutorial on what's called two-port network theory. So if you don't know what two-port network theory is, hopefully by having a run through this application yourself you'll have a bit of an idea by the end of it. Now I'm not going to step through the tutorial um, page by page in this video, I just want to give you a brief outline of the built application and what it actually does and how you can navigate through it yourself. So in terms of a two-port network, we go on to talk about what a two-port network is and why we, why we actually model circuits in this way. And then how we obtain that model is in the form of parameter sets, so we go on to talk about the different types of parameters and how we actually characterize these parameters. So the circuit that we're using throughout the tutorial for explaining the concepts is a low pass filter circuit and that's what I've actually got connected to my MIDAC on a breadboard. So we work through these different stages um, we move on to something called transmission parameters to actually obtain the transfer function for the circuit, the voltage transfer function. And then once we've got this transfer function we use that to predict its response. So here we're actually plotting, based on the component values, a frequency response against amplitude to see where we'd expect the minus 3 dB cutoff frequency to fall. Now, once we've got this prediction, we can then actually use the Bode Analyzer tool with the MIDAC device. So this performs a real frequency sweep across our circuit and allows us to monitor the response of the circuit under the different frequencies. So if we run that, that will iterate through all the different frequencies we've specified and give us the real response of the circuit. And we can see if we go to about the minus 3 dB point, we've got a similar kind of cutoff frequency to that as we predicted. Now once you've gone through the different stages of understanding the two-port network theory, the idea is that you can then go on to have a go yourself with some of these other circuits that I've suggested and also look at some of the other powerful features of the two-port model for cascading and connecting different two-port modelled circuits. So that's everything I wanted to cover. I hope this looks like an interesting thing to try out. Um, but yeah, the best thing to do would be to download the application and have a go and let me know what you think.